We have seen a rise in NBA pettiness, it seems like ever since we did, has the NBA become a petty league last week with myself, Denise Jones and company on our usual Friday panel. So once again, this week has marked two instances of not only NBA pettiness, but then the cause and effect of guys just in the middle of the season being shitty at each other. So after receiving double technicals in the Minnesota Timberwolves Orlando Magic game, Nicholas Bielitsa and Aaron Aflalo, who does not spell his name like a regular Aaron, it is literally A-R-R-O-N, not kidding, uh, got into a little bit of a skirmish. Take a look. It's a prime time game. Crawford no good. Dude. Rebound Birch. Bielitsa tangled up with Aflalo. Well, those two have been on the verge of going at it. So one thing that I forgot to state was that they had double technicals prior to that. And then, of course, what occurred? Aaron Aflalo throwing a punch, Nicholas Bielitsa putting him in a headlock, rightfully so. Here is what Bielitsa said. By the way, we could not get Aaron Aflalo to comment because he left the stadium prematurely. Here is Bielitsa. No, he took a swing on me and I was just trying you know, to protect myself, first of all, and to help him, I mean, to, to calm him down because he was wild. I don't know what, what, what's wrong with, with that guy, but uh, and at that point, I mean, if you attack me like that, I just have to protect myself or my family. And like I said, we were hitting each other during the game, but that was everything. That was part of the game in offense, in defense. I don't want to make from him like he's a bad guy. Maybe, you know, he had a bad day, but I just want to say, you know, I I think I did the right thing because I don't know what we what, what wanted to do, like to, to let him, he punch me one more time. Or I understand where he's coming from when he's like, I got to protect myself. Yes, I got to protect my family. Sure, they weren't the other four players on the court with you. But I get why he put Aaron Aflalo in a headlock. It's simply to just try and stabilize the situation completely. And here's what NBC Sports wrote about this current sitch. Players are heated lately, and there has been some discussion about whether new officiating styles by younger referees has led to players getting antsy with each other. We've heard that some of the newer refs aren't talking with players as much. And perhaps that hasn't let guys blow off steam throughout the course of the game, and they're taking it out on each other. No, dude, this has nothing to do with a medium that is the bridge between you and an opposing player. You know what usually happened when Kobe and AI went at each other? They talked shit to each other. They didn't have to throw in the words of Steven. They said, throwing haymakers at each other. All they did was go after each other on the court because that was the ferocious nature of the sport. So now what are we having? If this, whoever the writer was, like, I get it. Players are antsy, not with opposing players. They're antsy with the referees. Carmelo even said, I think it was yesterday when I saw PTI with Kornheiser and Wilbon, who, by the way, Wilbon somehow blamed millennials for the problems that are uh, inflicting the National Basketball Association. How that's even possible, I have no idea. But they were pointing to Carmelo Anthony saying, I'm done with the reps. So I don't really see where this report is going with them saying, yeah, yeah, it's about the referees and the players aren't able to get whatever's, uh, whatever they have in their mind off their chest or what have you. Those were a lot of body parts. But it really doesn't matter. It's the middle of the season. You are now seeing teams for the second, maybe third time in a long drawn out season. And we're gonna get to the Cleveland Cavaliers a little bit later. These are the frustrations of an 82 game, long, strenuous, traveling heavy schedule that every NBA basketball player has. So do I blame it on the players not being able to take it out on the referees? No, of course not. I take it out on two guys who have a egotistical machismo nature to themselves and we're trying to just take it out on each other. And we saw how they did it. Aaron Aflalo, again, uh, left the stadium, could not be reached for comment. Let us know your thoughts, comment section below, subscribe to 2 Sports.